Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a search box using the lookup feature on a form. I'm going to do it on this form here, one that I created earlier. I'm going into design on this form to show you how to do it. So over onto the left there, view, design. And what you need to do is use the controls area on the ribbon. So you've got three tabs there that are all to do with this. The first one, form design. What we need to do is get what's called a combo box on the screen. So I'm clicking on that and I'm going to draw a small rectangle, which will start the wizard. Now, I'm just going to cancel this for a second and delete that. If the wizard does not start, you might need to make sure that you've got it active by having this selected. It should be on by default, but sometimes it clicks itself off. Make sure that's on. So I'll just do that again. Combo box, small rectangle, like so. Now, the first option is looking up a table or query. So that's what these did. I set these two up in table design where they're looking, that one's looking at a table called cities. County is looking at a valued list, which I typed, which would be this option. So I don't need to do those two, I've already got them. The third option though, is find a record on this form based on what I select in a drop down list, which is what I want to do. I'm going next. Now it's asking me to take the fields across that I, I want to search for. So I'm going to select first name, surname, and company. The ID field automatically shows, if I come across the next option, you can take that tick off there and it does show you that. That's on anyhow, so you don't really need to take that across as well, because you could have it if you, if you take that tick off. Then I go next. I give it a name, so I'll just call this search record, like so, and then finish. So that's the label there, search record. Save the form and have a look. So now when I drop this little arrow down, I say all the people's names and the company that they're in. So if I go for that one, that will navigate to this record. It's, which appertains to Anne Black. I go for Paul Green. I'm now looking at Paul Green's record and all their details. Now, sometimes because you could have names that are the same, you might need to make sure you bring multiple columns down so you can actually distinguish between a particular person, whether it's that person for working at a particular company or a different company. It's totally depend, it totally depends how your database is. So that's all I want to look at in this little video, how you can create a search box on a form. So thanks for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.